Hi there, it's Nicole McCork, and today I have a card share for you featuring the March 2014 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. This card features a fun rainbow created with the stamps from the March 2014 Card Kit. And the stamp set in this kit is awesome this month. I just absolutely love it. I say that every month, and every month I just think they outdo themselves. The rainbow can be created using the three separate little half circles there that are in the kit. And I'm going to stamp the first one on some of the white cardstock in the kit using the Hero Arts Ultra Pink ink. And then I'm going to take the middle piece of the rainbow and I'm going to stamp that with the Hero Arts Butter Bar ink. Now these inks do are dye inks and if you've ever used the Hero Arts or the Simon Says Stamp dye inks before, you might notice that they're kind of blotchy when you first stamp them. However, they really smooth out and the color evens out as it dries. Now the smallest arc there, I stamped with the Simon Says Stamp Sea Glass ink. And then I'm going to stamp part of the greeting there. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Black ink. And then I'm going to stamp the scripty word rainbows using the sea glass ink. I love that you can mix and match the greetings from the stamp set to work with lots of different cards. So there's just tons of possibilities with the stamp set. And then I will finish the rest of the greeting there using the black ink. So that's pretty simple. That would be lovely as it is, or and you could add maybe some Wink of Stella clear glitter to the rainbow, which I am going to do here in a little bit, and call it good. Put it on a card and it could be finished. But I wanted to add just a little bit more detail to the background of my card. So I am just taping in place the Simon Says Stamp Falling Stars stencil. And then I am masking off some of those stars just using a little post-it tape here because I don't want to have any of those stars over my greeting or my stamped rainbow. And then I'm going to use some of this modeling paste. It's a pearl color. You can see it's, it's not white exactly. It kind of has that pearlescent sheen to it, which is going to show up really nicely on the white background, but still not take away from the colorful rainbow or the greeting, which is really what I was going for. So I'm just going to smooth that out with my palette knife. I'm going to just pop this up from one end. And you can see that I have a great background full of these awesome pearlized stars. And then one tip I like to do before I go clean my stencil, and you are going to want to clean, clean it up, any of your tools here, really quickly because this Anything like the modeling paste or embossing paste or ferro, any of those things do tend to dry pretty quickly and you don't want to ruin your stencils. So I like to scrape off any excess, put it back in the jar, and then I will take all of my tools down and wash them with some cool water so they're ready to use the next time. Now once the embossing paste is dry, I'm just going to add a little pop of color to the bottom of my stamped piece here. I love the striped paper from Lawn Fawn. It's from their Hello Sunshine collection. So I'm just going to put a thin strip near the bottom. And then I'm going to use one of the cardstock strips from the kit. Just kind of a, a soft beige, beige or grayish color. Probably more gray, I guess I would say. I just cut a real thin strip of the cardstock and I'm going to glue that in place right above the stripe. And then I'll trim off that excess here. And I am almost finished with my card. I did want to add a little bit more um, glitz and just a little embellishment. And there are these awesome sequins in the card kit this month. And so I am going to add some of those sequins here in a bit. Now here is that Wink of Stella clear glitter brush marker. Just going to color right over 
each of the arcs of the rainbow and that adds a little bit of glitz and glimmer too which I really think ties in nicely with the stars in the background. So just smooth that all over my rainbow. I love this Wink of Stella clear glitter brush marker. It gets tons and tons of use. Okay, once I have that finished, I'm going to grab the sequins that I was talking about and I'm just going to use some little mini glue dots. I'm just sprinkling them right out of the bag because I kind of wanted them to have that natural sprinkled look and I ended up getting a few too many so I did knock a few off. But I'm just going to glue those on with some mini glue dots all over my card. And I love how they pick up color, I think. is They're kind of iridescent, maybe that's what I should say. So I just think they add not maybe so much color, but a lot of interest to the background of the card. So I'll finish gluing those in place. I'm going to use a little foam adhesive on the back of this piece and then pop it right on top of a white card paste and my card is finished. I hope you've enjoyed this card featuring the March 2014 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. For more information, please visit my blog at www.nicolemagork.typepad.com on February 22, 2014. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.